Hi, I'm Pat Mastriani. I play Joey on Degrassi High. And I'm Stacy Mystician. I play Caitlin. The following episode of Degrassi High is a dramatic story about suicide. Most people who attempt suicide do not really want to die. In most cases, these people are desperately reaching out, asking for help. Now there are signs that you can recognize when someone is suicidal. You should take these signs seriously. If the kids in our story had taken their friends seriously, they could have done something, uh, talked to an adult for help. Teens can't always help their friends who are suicidal, but adults can and do help. There are hotlines, teachers, guidance counselors, your parents, your friends' parents, your doctor, and other adults who can help, but you need to let them know. On this episode of Degrassi, the student who is suicidal has very serious problems, but he does not have to kill himself. He should ask for help, but he doesn't talk to anyone, and he doesn't realize that things will get better. Suicide is a permanent response to a temporary situation. Even when people get very depressed, suicide is not the solution, but talking to someone is. If you're thinking about suicide or you know someone who's suicidal, call 1-800-448-3000 or go to an adult for help. Don't wait. You're not going to have enough costumes. How do you like my hat? That's great. Good luck. Thanks. Auditions for Showtime are now underway in the auditorium. Please sign in with Joanne. Thank you. I really hope I make the show. You will. I've seen her dance. It's great. I'm the one who should be worried. Maya, you've got a fabulous voice. It's a great song. I've got it all figured out. Caitlin, you trying out for the show? Yeah. Me too. Good luck. What if we tried again? Please. Why does he keep bugging me? I think he'd give up. It's been over a year since he stopped calling you. I know. I wish he'd just go away. Hi, sorry we're late. Oh, don't worry about it. We're running behind already. I don't think we're gonna get to you guys until about tomorrow. Tomorrow? Or maybe today. If you want, you can take a chance and stick around and watch. Um, come on, let's stay. Thank you. I'm not gonna make the most Hi, Joey. Hi. Ice maiden. When are you gonna get over her? Hey, I got over her ages ago. Don't oh, you worry. Yeah, right. I did. How come nothing ever Hey, I wasn't finished. Don't worry about it. Come on, just No, forget it. We'll do it. Looks great to me. Thank you very much. Uh, next up is another dance number. The dancing jockettes.
<laughs> yeah, can't wait till my mother comes to see this one, boy. <laughs> That's all right, really. We don't have to see anymore, okay? Look, I'm sorry. Alex, what well, did I did, you I didn't do? do anything. Trust me, it was the... Um, you guys fix it and we'll fit you in later. Next up is... Claude Tanner. Claude Tanner? Good luck. Don't come near me with that pole. It's a silk. It's a silk. This is, uh, something that I wrote myself. Hey, I think we're on next. We better get ready. Uh, wait a second. I want to see this. It's the Ice Maiden's old boyfriend. Autumn leaves. Dying leaves. Season of death. When winds grow cold. Lots of death. Creep in as I sleep. I dream I'm in a coffin. <laughs> Safe from the life I don't want Just to Just give him a break. Just let him do it. <laughs> I am not afraid. <laughs> Soothing. Black. And warm. Soothing. Black and warm. Safe. From the pain. And safe. From the fools. Safe, soothing, black. Excuse me, Claude? I haven't finished yet. Sorry, but we don't think that's right for this show. Why not? No offense, okay. The poem's good, but, uh... It's just a little depressing. So? Some things are serious. Sure, but this is a talent night, and people want to come and have fun. Maybe you can come back tomorrow with another monologue. Maybe a song. I do my monologue or nothing. Sorry. Who, who's next? Um, Joey and Snake. Typical. This place is so stupid. You're all a bunch of sheep. Bet. <laughs> what a loser. It's just like Claude to say something. Joey Jeremiah and Archie Simpson. You don't care. Nobody cares. Well, you'll see. Claude, wait. What did he mean? Oh. Come on, guys. What's he talking about? Okay, guys, can we move this on, please? Claude. What? I care. I thought it was good. Look, we never see you anymore. How about coming out with this this weekend? A bunch of us are going to go see a movie. Mm, no, thanks. I'm really sorry about your parents, man. Hey. Lots of people get divorced. So I guess you're gonna stay with your mom, eh? Her boyfriend can't stand me. But you can't stay with your dad. Listen, I know that you're just trying to be nice, but I'm fine. And I've really gotta go. Are you sure you're okay? Do you wanna talk? I'm your friend, I'll listen. Joanne, you don't know what it's like when everything... You don't know what it's like to be me. So don't bother. Try me. No. Yeah.
and never give up. I spent half the night reading a stupid book, and I still don't understand half of this stuff. Look, you obviously need help. Well, how about uh, we... I'm too busy, so, uh, why don't you ask Mr. Webster for help? What foot? I can't stand the guy. Hey, he helped me last year, and uh, I don't think we have any other choice. I guess you're right, I mean, it couldn't hurt. Well, I wish we got to audition yesterday. I hardly slept all night. If this is so painful, why are you doing it? Because I want to. Now that I'm back home, and my parents have decided to give it another try, I've decided to start doing things instead of just talking. I've always wanted to dance. I just wish I wasn't so nervous. Stop worrying. Like my Uncle Adam says, life is a flower. Let it unfold. Hi. Excuse me? Thank you. Good morning, Degrassi. First the lost and found out. Anyone finding a tutu, please return it to Dale. Seriously, though, if you have not had a chance to try out for Showtime, auditions will be today at lunch. Thank you. It's for you. Would you please leave me alone? I'm really tired of being harassed by you all the time. We're not seeing each other anymore. It's over. Don't worry. I won't bother you anymore. Good. I just came to say goodbye. Why? Where are you going? So if you're not too busy, I'd really appreciate some extra help. I'm impressed, Mr. Jeremiah. It takes maturity to ask for help when you're experiencing difficulty. Leave it with me right now. I'll arrange something. Thanks, Mr. Webster. Hurry up, man. You'll be late for class. I'm not going to any more classes. What has this place ever done for me? You're gonna get in trouble. No, I won't. But was Macbeth inherently evil? Yeah, Spike. I don't think Macbeth was evil. I don't think he would have done most of it if she hadn't talked him into it. Excuse me, like he wasn't responsible for his own actions? Lucy, don't jump in. If you have something to contribute, put up your hand, please. You were saying. No, she's the one I feel sorry for. I mean, she did it all for him and his glory. It's not like she wasn't getting anything out of it. Alexa, hands up first, please. Yes? Well, that, that's all I had to say. <laughs> all right, I'd like to hear from somebody else. Yeah, Snake. Can I go to the washroom? I think I had too much tea for breakfast. Oh, and I was expecting a cogent contribution. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> all right, settle down. Now, if you recall in Act 2, Scene 2, no. Macbeth confides to
You all right? First draft of the final exam schedule. We'll be discussing it at the staff meeting tomorrow, so if I could get your copies on the desk, I'd be happy. Mr. Raditz, Mr. Raditz, you gotta come quick. Our Archie, get a no, hold of no. yourself. No, no, he's um dead. Who's dead? What are you in talking the, about? In the boys' uh, washroom, there's a, there's a gun and uh, there's there's blood everywhere. There's okay, blood. okay, all right, just take me to where he is. His okay? face. Take me to where he is. Janet, call the police. Tryouts for showtime are now resuming. Anyone still wishing to audition, please show up in the auditorium. Thank you. This is Tim the Terrific, and my assistant, Bartholomew Bond. Back to perform. The most phenomenal tricks of all time. Now, Bartholomew, is this an ordinary piece of rope? Yes, just a normal rope. And is there anything holding up this rope? <laughs> no strings attached. Abracazam, Abracazilk, I shall turn this string into a silk. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this one's for the lovely ladies in the audience. A bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Great. I love sophisticated humor. Um, Caitlin Ryan. Good luck. Um, I'm just going to do a dance. Hit it. I can't tell you anything. Attention all staff. There will be an unscheduled meeting commencing immediately. Please proceed to the staff room on the main this. floor. Now I gotta go miles Again, to the next all bathroom. staff report to the main floor lounge. Thank you. I bet you it's a drug bust. Do you see that stretcher? There's an ambulance up front. It must be serious. Can everyone please take their seats? Can I please have your attention? Everyone? Unfortunately, I, I have some tragic news. This is so nice. this is, guys, keep it down. Wallfish will be here any minute. Bye. I tried, sir. I'm afraid I have some very upsetting news. The student has died. And it looks like he killed himself. Who? His name was Claude Tanner. He was in 12th grade. I know it's a shock to all of you. And I knew that some of you knew him. He was, um, he was so unhappy and so angry at everybody. His parents were getting divorced. Him and his dad, they just hated each other. 
Yeah, well, lots of people have problems, but they don't kill themselves. He would have got over it. I mean, I was depressed last year, but, but things pass. I should have done something. Oh, what could you have done? Well, I knew something was wrong. I tried to talk to him, but he wouldn't. I mean, I, t I told Miss Willia, but she, she tried to talk to him, but he wouldn't listen. Joanne, I don't see what more there was you could have done. Well, there must have been something. It's okay. It's all right. You can't help someone who doesn't want help. All you can do is look for warning signs and try to help. There's nothing else you could have done. All of us feel overwhelmed sometimes. Many people right. think about suicide. It's okay, Joanne. But the difference is that we don't do it. Because once you do, everything is over. <laughs> I think it's important that we talk about how you feel. I don't understand why he did it here. Really? Probably just make us all feel bad. Lucy? Well, it's true. Lucy, would you share that? Um, I said he probably did it here just to make us all feel bad. Oh, that's really nice. Look, I'm sorry. I know it sounds insensitive. But I'm mad at him. I mean, what a jerk. How could you be so cruel? No, she's right. He had too many problems, so he runs away and kills himself. He doesn't have to worry anymore. It's us who have to feel bad. Talk about selfish. Come on. He's going to hell, too. Suicide's a sin. Everybody. Come on. Everybody, please, please. There's no right way to react to this. When something like this happens, people have all sorts of reactions. Listen, we're going to be going home early today. Please talk about this. Share ways we can help ourselves get through this rough time. And if any of you, if any of you have problems dealing with this, please come and talk to me. We have trained people here who can help, and there's a trauma team that's been assigned to the school. Okay? Joy, it's okay. Attention staff and students. Due to the tragedy that has occurred, all remaining classes are cancelled. However, the guidance office will be open throughout the day. Thank you. Do you want to go for a walk or something? Yeah, sure. Are you okay? He tried to talk to me. I told him to go away. Sure, because he was bothering me. So why didn't I just talk to him? You broke up with him over a year ago. You didn't like him. It might have made a difference. Caitlin, Claude didn't kill himself because you wouldn't talk to him. He obviously had a lot of problems. Yeah, I suppose. I just can't believe he did this. I mean, why didn't he ask somebody for help? Who knows? Showtime auditions for this afternoon have been canceled. Couldn't someone have stopped him? There's nothing you could do. Nobody canceled. knew he was going to do it. Sorry for the inconvenience. Have you guys seen Snake? Uh, not since before lunch. No, he hasn't been here all afternoon. You know, the class should take a collection for flowers. I know, but why did he do it? I don't know. Poor guy just wanted to do his dumb monologue, and I wouldn't let him. You think he killed himself because of that? Don't be ridiculous. I mean, the guy was obviously really messed up. You had nothing to do with it. So what are we going to do about the show? Cancel it, of course. There's no way we can put it on now. But it's not for two weeks. Lucy, it wouldn't be right. 
block. We don't put it on. What are people going to think? That's not my problem. But we've put a lot of work into this show. I'll be right there, honey. Hi, honey. Hi. Bye, honey. Your father's car has broken down again. I'm gonna go pick him up. Dinner will be a little late. Okay. When did you get a new boyfriend? I didn't. Well, then you've got a secret admirer. Someone sent you flowers. Tell me about it when I get back? Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Dear Caitlin, I'm sure you know by now, I just couldn't stand it anymore. I know you don't love me, but I love you. And I forgive you for how you treated me. Goodbye, Caitlin. Wherever I am, I'm thinking of you. I hope you think of me sometimes. Love, Chloe. Thank you. You all know what we're here for. Are we or are we not going to have a talent show this year? Yes. Who'd like to go first? Joanne? A human being has died. If we go ahead with this talent show, it's like pretending it doesn't matter. Just because something horrible has happened, does that mean everything has to stop? Not everything, but we should be respectful. I'm upset about what's happened too, especially about the people he's hurt by doing this. But he's gone and we're still here. Life has to go on. Good point. What is so important about a dumb high school talent show? I mean, what about how his family feels? Their son has died, and his school goes and puts football players on stage in tutus? Yeah, most of the acts are funny. But what's wrong with a little laughter? Laughter's good. I'm sorry, okay? I don't feel like laughing. I knew him, and he was my friend. Um, maybe someone else should say something. Spike? What if we had the talent show, but it was like a benefit? All the money we make, we could give to his family or to a charity of their choice? Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, do it, Bronco. Bronco, yeah. It's good. Isn't that a nice way to remember Claude? Why don't you vote? Okay, whoever's in favor of Spike's idea, can I please see a show of hands? I don't know if going ahead with the talent show is such a good idea. Sure it is. I, feel like okay for me. I agree with Lucy. Laughter is good. I'm glad we're doing this show. Glad we're not letting that creep ruin everything. I hear his parents have decided on a closed floor. I wouldn't have gone anyway. I would never go to a suicide funeral. I can't believe anyone would be that stupid. I didn't think you'd be so angry at him. He deserves it. I'm not gonna let what he did affect me. Hello, everybody. I hope I have all your assignments. Thank you. What a prolific bunch. Looks like I have my reading cut out for me tonight. 
Well, um, why can't it work this way? If we try to devise a quantitative relation between induced current and the magnetic flux change, there are other variables to be considered. I'm sorry, that went right over my head. You're, I'll get it. You're yeah. talking about variables? Yeah. What I'm going to have to do, Julie, you asked me for help this morning. I'm going to see that you get it, and we're going to go back to square one for you. I, what exactly? Because all these things... Caitlin. ...can be explained in detail to you, in language you're going to understand, and then you can apply the correct term. Ah, okay. We'll finish this later. You can start putting your equipment away. And don't forget, lab reports are due next class. They are worth 20% of your term grade. And on Friday, there's our wee test. Oh, yes. Now, you've known all along it was coming. Oh, come on. I'd like to speak to Joey and Caitlin, please. Hey, is, is Joey in there? Yeah, he's in there. He's still talking to Webfoot. Thanks. Kevin, I'm impressed with your work so far this year. You have a solid grasp of the material. Thanks. Joey's asked for help in catching up, but I'm a bit swamped at the moment, so I was thinking you could help provide him with some tutoring. Me and her? Um... Is that a problem? Uh... No. Caitlin? I'm just... I'm kind of busy. Oh, I don't think it'll take that much time, and I know Joey will appreciate the assistance. Sure. Excellent. I'll leave it to the two of you to sort it out, then. Uh, when do you want to get together and talk about this? Let's talk about it tomorrow, OK? OK. Uh, tomorrow's good. Uh, I want to get started right away. Attention, sports enthusiasts. Joey. As you know, there is a very important lacrosse match this afternoon at Westbury High. If you want to see some brutal action, come on out. Could, uh, could you give this to Mom for me? What is it? It's the money that I stole. Yeah. So, I'd better be going. I'll be late for work. How's that going? I don't want to pump gas for the rest of my life, but it's OK. It's nice making some money. Yeah. How Snake? I haven't seen him around lately. He's, um, taking some time off. He's sick. I, uh... I heard this rumor. Did he find Claude? Uh... Yeah. Whoa. You think it'd be okay if I called him? I know he's mad at me, but... Uh, uh, no. I, I think he'd actually like it. Okay. I'm, I'm going over there right now if you want to live. You gotta get to work. But, uh, I'll call him tonight. Okay. See you later. Yeah, I'll see ya. What's wrong with the bike? <sighs> what isn't? But I think it can make it last another year. Hey, look, people miss you, man. When are you coming back? Maybe next week. Uh, therapist says I shouldn't come back till I'm ready. Look, I'm really sorry that it was you that had to find him. Hey, someone had to. You know what I don't really remember? All that blood. He was, uh, he was just lying there. Uh, half his face was, wasn't. It was so ugly. I, 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 I thought a body would be more like a person, but he was, he was just dead. 
And I keep thinking that if I got there a little sooner, maybe I could have stopped him. Hey, look, there was nothing you could have done. And I get really mad sometimes. He knew someone had to find him. I didn't even know him, and look how he's got to me. Why did you do this to me? I didn't even do anything to him. Snake. I'm sorry, okay? Is there anything I could do? Hey, come on. Get out of here. Hey, come on. Oh, no, no. Hey, no, no. Autumn leaves. Dying leaves, the season of death, no. when winds grow cold, thoughts of death creep in as I sleep. I dream I'm in a coffin. I am not afraid. Soothing, black, and warm. <sighs> Safe from the pain <gasps> and safe from the fools. <sighs> safe, soothing, black. Leave me alone. I love you. Death. No. No. Good morning, Degrassi. Tickets go on sale today for showtime. All proceeds will go towards a new program for suicide prevention. We have a wonderful show for you, and we're hoping that you, your friends and family, will come out to see it. Tickets are four dollars each, or a book of five. And so, in conclusion, if we wish to maintain the loop in constant velocity, this magnetic force must be balanced by an equal force aft to the left. Questions, anyone? Understand any of this stuff? I have no idea what he's talking about. Good. I hope that's all clear and that you're looking forward with unabashed joy to the test. Um, Caitlin, look, I really need some help. I've got to pass this test. Um, okay, we'll meet at lunch tomorrow. Well, what's wrong with today? I'm busy. Look, if you don't want to help me, just say so. I'll find someone else. Look, I'll help you, okay? I'll help. Great. Uh, do you want to meet in the resource center after school then? Um, no. They don't let you talk there. If I'm going to help explain things to you, it would be nice if we could talk. I suppose you could come over to my place. Your house? Yeah, my parents won't mind. Besides, Mom liked you. Really? Uh, meet me after dinner. Around seven o'clock. Great. Uh, thanks. All right. Not by the student council office or by them from Nancy Kramer or Lucy Fernandez. Believe me, you don't want to miss the fabulous dancing jock acts. Also, student council elections are coming up. And if you know anyone who you'd like to see elected, please come down to the student council office and fill out a nomination form. I got you something. Here. What is it? It looks like a box. <laughs> Open it. It's the other one of these. It's never been worn. No. Hi. Hi. Come in. Okay. It's 
just Joey, Mom. Just Joey? Gee, I feel special. Look, I'm only doing this because Mr. Webster asked me to. This is not my idea of fun, so I'd appreciate it if you kept your snarky comments to yourself. Lighten up. I was just joking. Can I still come in? See? Oh, yeah. Okay, then these two currents passing through different points like this will make a magnetic circulation that's proportional. Mm -hmm. You sure you're following this so far? Oh, yeah, yeah. The problem is making a magnetic field that's uniform over a reasonable volume of space. Yeah, space, that can be real unreasonable. I learned that on Star Trek. You haven't heard a word I've said, have you? Sure I have. Why did you let me go on? Why didn't you ask questions? I didn't know what questions to ask. Then why bother studying? Because I want to pass the course. You can't pass if you don't know anything. That's why you're helping me? I can't help a numbering. Thanks. You're welcome. How's the studying going? Fine. Sweetheart, that was your dad on the phone. He's having car trouble again, so I'm going to go pick him up. You two be okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's start again. Hey, why bother? I'm a numbering. I'm sorry I said that. Hey, don't worry about it. Maybe I can get a job somewhere as a speed bump. Joey, look, I'm sorry I said that. I was just frustrated. I thought we were getting somewhere. We'll start again, and I'll try and explain things a little more clearly. I want a herbal tea. Do you want anything? Uh, got a beer? No. It was a joke! Caitlin, why are you so serious? You used to have a sense of humor. Do you want anything? Yes. I would like a juice. So, um, what do you think about the talent show still going on? I think it's great. Don't you? You're not going to drop out or anything, are you? I heard some people did. Uh, no, no. Uh, actually, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, life does have to go on. You knew Claude pretty well, right? Yeah. Do you know why he did it? No. Well, it must have been pretty messed up. I mean, could you actually imagine putting a gun to your head and pulling the trigger? Do we have to talk about this? Uh, no. Sorry. So, um, how's Snake? He's getting better. Well, it really messed him up. I mean, it makes me so mad. I mean, Snake didn't even Can do anything. Can we please talk about something else? Sorry. Of course he was messed up. You don't kill yourself if you're not messed up. Well, then why did he do it? He said he couldn't stand it anymore. He told you that? Look, I don't want to talk about it, okay? I don't want to talk about Chloe. Well, you say that, but you keep bringing it up. Maybe you want to talk about it. Caitlin? He said goodbye to me. I didn't know what he was talking about. I thought maybe he meant he was visiting relatives or something. I didn't know he was going to go shoot himself. You couldn't have known that. And then he sent the flowers. And the note. I mean, what was I supposed to do? I didn't even like him. He sent you a note? He said he loved me. Oh, 
believe this. I feel so... I didn't want to hurt him. He sure meant to hurt you. Caitlin, he, he wanted to hurt everybody. He wanted us all to be crying and have a big memorial. The guy was a pig. No, he wasn't. He loved me. He didn't love you. Caitlin, you... He wanted to hurt you. No, he... He wanted you to feel guilty. Don't give him the satisfaction. Any second now. Thank you. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. First, I'd like to thank everybody for showing up tonight. As you all know, the circumstances surrounding this evening's show are very unusual this year. So before we go any further, Joanne Rutherford has a few words to say on behalf of Claude Tanner's family. Claude's parents aren't here tonight, but they'd like me to thank you for your contributions to help create a program for kids who feel suicidal. This program is too late to help Claude. Many of us tried to get him to talk, and he wouldn't talk, and we don't know why. He should have talked. This program is for all of us. It's for any student who feels really depressed or who feels that things are really rough and they don't know where to turn. Everybody goes through bad times, but life is too precious to be thrown away. No one has to kill themselves. Claude was my friend and I'm really sorry that he's missing this tonight because I think that it would have really made him laugh. And maybe if he had been able to laugh more, he would still be here. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much, Joanne. <clears throat> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Our first act combines sophistication and culture that reflects the dignity of Degrassi. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Dancing Jock X. Ah, oh, they're in the dressing room back there. Guys, come on, please be quiet. <laughs> Hi. Hi. When are you on? Um, I'm fourth. I'm terrified. So are we. We're next. We? Is Snake here? Uh, no, he wasn't ready to come back, but Niels is doing it with me. <laughs> <laughs> come on, we better start getting ready. Okay. Uh, Joey. Yeah. I just wanted to thank you for listening. No problem. Anytime. I mean it. Thanks. <laughs> 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 
What you've just seen was a dramatic story about suicide. David Armin Purcells, the actor who plays Claude, did not really kill himself. But suicide is on a lot of teenagers' minds. We've all been in situations that felt hopeless. But committing suicide is irreversible. We all get depressed sometimes, but nobody needs to kill themselves. We can get help. We can cope with our problems by talking about them to our friends, our parents, other family members, teachers, counselors, doctors, or people we work with. Claude didn't do that. Please, we urge you, if you're feeling depressed or suicidal, you don't have to be alone. Tell an adult or call 1-800-448-3000. Don't wait. 